staying in the cocoon of the human world, we are not able to find ourselves closer to nature that we belong to. Nature, always in change, unexpected, includes everything, us, humans too. And particularly nowadays, our role is not putting everything out of nature, as Gatahi states in Three Ecologies. To entangle us to the land where we live, the visceral delta where water and land meet, should be our aim in the stormy times in which sea level rise, in which we experience extreme heat and other consequences of climate change. Would like to say a little about the Vistula Delta itself, because that is the place where we are located, where our project takes place. Of course, the Vistula Delta is a hybrid of land and water with an irreducible identity, a mixing of river and sea waters where specific flora and fauna developed in the rhythm of the ebb and flow of the ebb. The delta began to form around 6,000 years ago. The waters of the Vistula and many smaller rivers carried with current large quantities of gravels, sands and silts and deposited them in the former bay. From these sediments, with the help of specific conditions, the famous Juave soils were formed. The men entered Juave region in the 13th century and developed the land. Mennonites from the Netherlands came to Juave in the 16th century and built the arcaded houses, Dutch homesteads. But according to predictions stated by climate scientists, it is highly likely most of the Vistula Delta region, which is of course below sea level, will be flooded due to the sea level rise caused by climate change by 2100. And that is why we are calling for another kind of narrative, another kind of writing and art, which contrary to the modernist narratives, looks at non-humans and the land. We can see this non-human approach in current artistic projects in Gdańsk. Very often these initiatives refer to the sea. It is all about relations with non-humans and new imagination. We don't even imagine the new ways to conduct research in the sea. We focus on mammals, dolphins and for example plankton is not present in our imagination and the need of relations. There are a lot of non-humans that live down there and some suffer pain from our waste and noise. Many of us are aware of mammals such as whales and there have been discussions about the chemical and waste pollution. But often ignored is the invisible, the environment that is deeper and affects us. The example of the work of art that focuses on the plankton is the Noise Aquarium by Victoria Vesna. Every fifth breath we take is oxygen produced by plankton, which serves as one of the primary bases of the marine food chain and are, as a result, a crucial component of the Earth ecosystem. Who knows about it? Noise Aquarium utilizes 3D scans of plankton obtained with unique scientific imaging techniques and immerses us in the 3D aquarium of diverse planktons projected as large as whales. With their presence alone, we, participants, create destructive visual and audio noises demonstrating how we are all entangled. 
Noise Aquarium spotlights animated 3D models obtained with scientific imaging techniques of the extremely diverse plankton spectrum. This kind of thinking, as in the project with non-humans, enables us to build resilience filled peace with the planet. The demand of thinking with, thinking with non-humans, means coexistence with non-humans equally to the human species, both empathetically and rationally. Thinking with the plankton and other non-humans means concerning not only individual beings, but the micro-communities which they constitute with other non-humans, as the entire community which all of them co-form with us humans. The demand of thinking with also means that we have to reconsider our ideas about the place, role, possibilities and rights of us humans within the territory we live with other beings. Such projects, works of art like Nos Aquarium, shapes aesthetic experiences in which we, art audiences, are confronted with knowledge about ecology, which is all too often ungraspable. As Deleuze and Gattahi state, there is one virtual whole of being that is given or actualized through an infinity of perceptions, including the words and souls of animals, plants, rocks and other machines. Quote, the plant contemplates by contracting the elements from which it originates, light, carbon and the salts, and it fills itself with colors and odors that in each case qualify its variety, its composition. It is sensation in itself. The end of quote. It is becoming, which is the power of life, a becoming that has no end other than itself. The less refers to distinct tendencies of becoming, the becoming of animals, the becoming of plants, the becoming of human bodies, and even the becoming of philosophy and art that cannot be unified by some general form or goal of becoming. The flow of life or becoming is not a general progressive development. Taking into account the situation here, in the Vistula Delta, our aim should be entanglement humans and non-humans with the land, imagining new possible futures of our landscape and accept uncertainty to achieve resilience.